another episode of Oxlimations. And as you could probably tell, I am a bit hungry today. So for today's video, I've decided for y'all's enjoyment that I'm going to be taking a look at some new Halloween snacks that have come out for this year. To start things off, we have the new Reese's Franken Cups, which seem like normal Reese's, but they put a layer of green white chocolate on the bottom for some reason. I'm wondering if it's got like a different flavor. Is it going to be like mint peanut butter chocolate? I, I honestly don't know. And obviously I've got a pack of the normal ones to try side by side to see if there's actually any flavor difference at all. And then after that to wash that all down, I got another little surprise for y'all. Yeah. For 2020, the new Mountain Dew Voodoo. Mystery flavor, limited edition for this year. And before I even get started with anything, I've just got to take a moment to appreciate and have y'all appreciate the grandeur of the artwork on this box. I mean, look at that. You got this Grim Reaper looking dude over here, flashing the peace sign. He's got the voodoo for a face. And just all those awesome neon colors, the greens, the reds, the yellows, that purple. This is awesome. So, without further ado, without further delay, let's get cooking. Alright, so as y'all might have seen before when I was holding this in front of my face, we have the normal chocolate on the top, and we've got that weird green color on the bottom. So we're going to pop this bad boy open, and we're going to see if it actually resembles what it looks like on the packaging. Is this truth in advertising, or is this a Halloween sham? Okay. Alright, so... Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. And one jumped up on top of the others. Overachiever. Okay, so from the top, they look like regular Reese's Cups, although I see a little smattering of green right up here. Oh, there we go. There we go. What do y'all think? Is that close? Personally, I think it's actually greener in person. Okay. So, first, I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of this. So, here we go. Tastes like a Reese's cup. And of course, now we're going to open up our little control pack of Reese's. Alright. So, just going to say right off the bat, I like it. It's good. Creamy, peanut buttery. That's the way a Reese's cup is supposed to be. And I think these ones are actually a little smaller. Yeah, the Franken cups are a little smaller than a regular standard Reese's. That's interesting. Alright, so now let's do the whole flavor comparison. So as stated, those taste pretty good. You can't really taste much of a difference. Hmm, actually, as a matter of fact, these things are actually even bigger from the side. Don't know if y'all can see that, having a little trouble with camera positioning, trying a little something new. Yeah, it looks like it's bigger from the side too. Hmm. But again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can definitely tell there is a subtle difference in flavor. I'm guessing because of the white. Sorry, the green chocolate on this one. Now I'm kind of let down by Reese's or whatever the company is that makes these silly things. Because it's a cool concept, having a Franken cup. What they should have done was tried to make it more like, say, 
if they would have combined like a half regular cup and a half Reese's Pieces cup or a half a regular cup and a half chocolate with or a peanut butter cup with chocolate chips cup as it sits they taste all right but the creativity for myself just isn't quite there for me What do y'all think? Should I try them together? I just realized my bite has gotten worse. Check out that teeth mark. Those teeth marks. All right. But anyway, I'm going to try these both together and see if that makes any kind of a difference. And so, here we go. Follow along with me, would you? Took off a little more than I could chew. Just a moment, folks. About time we crack into the voodoo. Because I'm going to need something to wash that down. My apologies to the headphone users in the audience. It's such a shame that I have to ruin that beautiful artwork but it's what it was made for. So now we can actually look at the artwork on the cans. And surprisingly, after having had to shrink down all of this to fit on the side of a can, that looks pretty good, in my honest opinion. But anyway, it's mystery flavor bottled under the authority of PepsiCo. By the way, not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by either company. So let's see what the mystery flavor for this year is gonna be. First, give it the old sniff test. Hmm, I'm detecting hints of citrus. But then again, you open up basically any can of Mountain Dew and you're going to get hit with citrus flavor. So, let's take a sip. Or actually, on second thought, folks, y'all want to see what color this is? Because I am curious what color this is. It kind of looks like Sprite from the outgo, from all the little droplets that splashed out. But let's see if it actually does have a color. It kind of does. It's got a milky white going on. Hmm. It almost looks like coconut water, doesn't it? Well, to your continued health, ladies and gents, and all other macabre manner of being. One more time. Hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do you want me to tell you what this tastes like? Do you or don't you? If you want me to tell you what this tastes like, feel free to continue watching. If you don't want me to tell you what it tastes like, feel free to cut the video here. We've got five seconds. And as soon as I reach zero, I'm saying what this tastes like to yours truly. It friggin' tastes like Skittles. How did Mountain Dew make liquid Skittles? I don't understand this. It's delicious, I love it, but how? Mm. That is interesting. I wonder if each can is its own unique flavor, or if they all taste like that. But it, if that's 2020, then this year might be turning around. From what people see in the news, it's not so much. But we're going to pretend that it's starting to turn around, because Halloween candy and goodies. 
So, with that being said, ghouls, boils, and all of the macabre manner of being, this has been your old buddy Oxlamation saying, Cowabunga, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.